Good morning, students. Today I am going to teach Chapter Five, Agreement of Subject and Verb, to students of Standard Seven. Children, before I start the explanation, I want to tell you that it is a very important chapter of language, and so you must have a very clear concept of this chapter. agreement of verb with subject it means that a verb must agree with its subject in number and in person a singular subject requires a singular form of the verb while a plural subject requires a plural form of the verb it means that when the subject is singular it will take a singular form of the verb and when the subject is plural it will take the plural form of the verb let's see the example sam likes to collect stamps solomon and sally are best friends now in the first case sam it's singular so it will take the singular form of the verb that is likes and in the second case solomon and sally the subject is plural so it will take the plural form of the verb that is are this chapter agreement of verb with subject it has some rules so now let's study about those rules in detail the first rule is two or more subject singular subjects joined by an take a plural verb like raj and rakesh were often seen together he and i are great friends singular subjects joined by an so it will take a plural verb but this rule also has some exceptions and there are two exceptions to this rule first one is when two singular subjects refer to the same person or thing then the verb is in the singular like my friend and guide has come the politician and poet has departed from the city in this sentence friend and guide they refer to the same person so singular form of the verb is used and here politician and poet means they are both the same person so we have used singular form of the verb has but if it was the politician and the poet if before poet the article the was there that means they are two different people then in that case we will write the politician and the poet have departed from the city now the next exception is when two subjects represent one idea the verb is in the singular like time and tide waits for none here time and tide refers to one idea so it will take singular verb when two singular subjects are joined by and and preceded by each and every then the verb is in the singular like each boy and each girl has achieved the pass certificate means the word each is there so it will take singular when the subjects are joined by or nor either or neither nor then the verb agrees with the nearer subject our happiness or our sorrow is largely due to our actions neither the chairman nor the directors are present here just the nearest subject is plural 
so it will take plural form suppose if it was singular then it would have been singular either the cat or the dog has been here it's singular so it will take singular so those subjects which are joined by or nor either or neither nor then the verb always agrees to the nearest subject a singular subject which is followed immediately by as well as with together with in addition to requires a singular verb my mother the mother with all her sons was invited here the subject is singular so it will take singular verb sonal as well as her friends has gone to the museum even if friends is plural but the word as well as is there and the subject is singular so it will take a singular verb the coach together with his assistants was praised because here the subject the coach is singular so it will take a singular verb such indefinite pronouns as anybody anyone each either neither everybody nobody somebody and many are generally require a singular verb means when these words are there generally the verb is singular like each of them has a scholarship anybody who cheats is dishonest now sixth point a collective noun takes a singular verb when the class it names is considered as a unit and a plural verb when we talk about the members of the class means in this sentence the jury is finally complete it's a collective noun i'm taking it as a whole so it will take singular and in the second sentence the jury were divided in their opinion here i am talking about the members of that group so it will be plural now when a plural noun denotes a quality or a quantity considered as a whole means we take it as a whole then the singular verb is used like 10 tons of coal i am taking it as one unit is loaded onto the truck 5 lakhs of rupees is a huge sum now the next point is when the subject is a relative pronoun the verb must agree with the antecedent of that pronoun it means let me read the example first nikhil is one of the brilliant boys who have taken the examination here the relative pronoun who if just before that the antecedent boys it's plural so the verb will be plural this is one of those problems which have many solutions before the relative pronoun which problems which is in plural so it will take plural i hope this point is clear to everybody Now let's move to the next point. When the plural noun is a proper noun for some single object or some collective unit, it must be followed by a singular verb. Arabian Nights is still a great favorite. The United States has a big navy. Okay, so it will always take singular form. Now the 11th point is in some sentences the subject and the verb are separated by several other words in such cases the verb must agree with its proper subject 
like the quality of the shoes is not up to the mark i'm talking about the quality okay so it is singular so the verb will be singular the cost of this essential commodities has risen considerably here i am talking about the cost so it will take singular what many children do they make a mistake that they just see the nearest subject shoes is plural so they write r over here commodities plural so they write have over here this is called error of proximity children you have to identify the proper subject and then you have to write the appropriate verb i hope this chapter is clear to everybody